This is a real threat. This is why he's called these elders together. He says, one, okay, you've seen, you, know, you know the way I've been with you. You've observed me. I've worked with you. I've given you good knowledge. You know the way that I behave. And, and now, when I leave, because he's leaving, so I'm out of here, I know there's going to be wolves that are going to come in and attack. See, the Apostle Paul at this point has kind of been watching out for them. Even though he's not their specific pastor, he's an apostle. So the role of the apostle is even greater than the role of the pastor. He's looking out for all of these churches, kind of looking out for, for all of them individually, even though he's not specifically necessarily there you know, all the time. He's, he's doing even a higher level of oversight over everything that's going on. And he says, you know what, I'm going to depart, and I know wolves are going to come in. And that's why he's been preparing these elders, getting them ready, because their job is going to be to watch the flock. And this is a real threat. And this is, oh, no, you're just crazy. No, you just, you just think everyone's out to get you. you know, look, we're involved in a spiritual battle. We either be, believe the Bible or not. He's warning them. And that's why he says here in verse number 31, Therefore watch and remember that by the space of three years I ceased not to warn everyone night and day with tears. It was such a, a, a real threat He's saying, look, I've warned you for three years, day and night. And why do you say with tears? Because he's, he's passionate about it. He wants to get across how big of a deal it is. And, and he's pouring himself into it and his emotion just so that people can realize, wow, he's really serious about this. This isn't just, oh, uh, you know, do this, don't do Look, he cares about the people. And this is a real threat of people coming in to destroy and divide. This is always going to be a real threat. This is always going to be a real threat. Okay, he, he was like for three years. Now, if you have a good pastor that's watching out for a flock, hopefully he'll be able to catch the wolves and get them on the way before they could do any damage within the church, within the congregation, within the flock. And that's one of the important jobs of being a pastor is looking out for that and being able to identify who is it that needs to go. Now, the more work that a congregation is doing, the more work a church is doing, you can better believe there's going to be more tax coming. The church of Ephesus was doing a lot for God, and that's why he's saying, look, I warned you for three years. I mean, they're big enough that he's calling multiple elders in. It's not just one elder. There's, there's elders, plural, coming to meet with him. There's a lot of people there. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of service that they're doing for the Lord. And he's saying, watch out for this. Prepare yourselves. Prepare the flock. And be ready. And, you know, we need to be ready to not be so, you know, to let it even, you know, it's hard not to let things affect you, but it's easy, I think, for people to get fed up and just tired. And man, it's like, but the wolves are out there. They're going to come in and try to destroy. Yeah, I wish they weren't there. Yeah, it's kind of unsettling when there's a wolf attack. I don't like it, but they're out there. This is reality. So we need to face up to reality, and, and whether it's pleasant or not, we have to deal with it. And if there's an attack every year, there's an attack every year. If there's an attack every five years, whatever, we just need to be aware that wolves are out there. And that's why Paul stressed, hey, I've warned you over and over and over and over again. I don't want you to be offended. I don't want you getting out. I don't want you getting destroyed and devoured because of these wolves that are out there. 